Hi, my name is Sean. Today I'm going to demonstrate a filleting method that you can use for northern pike. It's what I call a five-piece filleting method. You'll end up with five small fillets off of one pike. And I'll show you how to avoid those Y bones and leaving those on the carcass instead of getting them in your fillets. Uh, a couple tips before I get started to show you this. Um, doing any filleting work, a, a very sharp fillet knife is, is crucial. Keep your cuts nice and clean and avoid cutting through the skin when you're doing the skinning part. It doesn't have to be a very big knife. Um, six to eight inch blade is all you need. In most cases, all we're using is the, t the two or three inches of the tip of the knife anyway. The other thing to remember is that pike are very slimy and I use paper towel and just sort of de-slime them, give them a wipe before you get started so that they're not sliding around. And for the same reason, I use a burlap sack or, or a, if you had nothing else, you could use a, an old towel or something like that on top of your cutting board to keep the pike uh, secured to the cutting board so it's not sliding all over and you're chasing it around with your knife. Um, the last thing I'll mention on, on pike is some considerations when you're selecting the fish that you're going to take home to eat. Uh, be aware that you don't want to be taking the, necessarily the really big pike. They tend to be the, the older females that are the prime spawners. So if possible, we tend to let those go and select sort of the medium-sized pike, the ones that are too small. Uh, you, there's, there's pretty thin fillets and it's, it's difficult to, to get the bones out. Um, so we can let those ones go, let them grow. The ideal ones I find are about five to six pounds, about 26 to 32 inches. Okay, and on that note, you have to be aware of where you're fishing in the Yukon. We have different regulations in place for all the different water bodies. And you do have to know what the regulations are for wherever you are fishing. In some cases, you might not be able to keep them over 30 inches or over 41 inches or whatever the case may be. So make sure that you're, you're fishing both ethically and legal out there. Okay, so I'll grab a pike and we'll get started here. We'll grab our first fish here. So as I mentioned, I'd take the slime off them a little bit first with a paper towel so that they're not too, too slippery. And then I place, position them so that the back of the fish is, is towards me and the, the fins are away, or the belly's away. And the first cut we're going to take is from just in front of these back fins right to the tail. So we just take our knife and make a single slice down until we feel contact with that backbone. Just like that. And then using the tip of the knife, just working right down the back towards the tail, just to there. And then get your thumb under that corner and putting downward pressure on your knife like this, you keep it tight up against the, the backbone and lift the meat with your thumb away from the carcass. It should come off just like that. So that's one piece. Then you can turn it over. Do the same on the other side. Again, belly away from me, the back of it towards me. So a single cut just at the in line with these two fins here. Okay, so there's our second piece. And the third piece, I turn it, I like to, I'm right handed, so I work from left to right. So I'll put the, the fish's head on my, my left hand. And what we're going to take is sort of like a back strap off of the pike here, um, starting right behind the gills, right down till we contact the, the dorsal fin here. So again, it's just a single cut behind the gills down till you co contact the backbone. And then you're going to turn your knife slightly and just work it down to this fin. And then come back up. So you'll take that piece off and set that aside. And from this position here, you can see we have, this is the backbone. And on either side of it, there's a line of of two other sets of bones, and these are the Y bones. They form a Y when they come down and join with the backbone. So the key for this method is keeping our knife on the outside of the Y bones. And all we're going to do is make a cut behind the gills here. Just like that, just down, not trying not to puncture the, the guts of the fish. 
And then we're just going to, with the tip of the knife, just sort of draw a line on the outside of those Y bones, only going down maybe one centimeter. Right out to the end. And then we just keep working that line, angling your blade down and towards the, uh, the, the backbone of the fish. And then with your, with your thumb lifting the, the meat away from the bones. So as you get further down here, you're going to start to feel the ribs and you're going to keep your knife on top of the, the ribs so you're not going to cut through those, otherwise they'll end up in your meat. And it should look something like that. So you'll expose the, the guts of the fish and when you get to this point, you can, there's different things you can do. One is puncture, go right through the, these two fins here and straight out the back and take that piece off like that, and you're going to have to cut off that fin. Okay, and then all that's left on there is the ribs with very little meat on them, and the Y bones are here, and they do have a little bit of meat left on them. On a smaller fish like this, there's not much in there, but if that was a bigger fish, you would have a, a little bit of meat there, but you could save that for, you could pickle it or put it in chowders and soups and stuff like that and, and just pull the bones out of it or use it as a, as a soup stock. Okay, then we turn it over and do the same thing on this side. Okay, and the last piece to come off is the side fillet uh, on the other side of the pike. So again, we cut down till we feel contact with the backbone. And then you just, the only part attaching is the backbone here. And again, we're going to keep the, the tip of our knife and sort of draw yourself a guideline on top of those Y bones. And then you should feel it and, and sort of hear your, the, the edge of your knife ticking along those bones if you've got the angle right. So we're just going to use the tip of our knife and sort of tick your way along those, those Y bones and lift the meat up with your, with your hand away from you, going like this. And the further down you get, you're going to contact the ribs and same thing, you keep your knife sort of with a downward pressure on it this way um, so you'll feel it sort of ticking along those bones. And we want all of that to stay on the carcass, not in the fillet. Okay, so there's the last piece. And with your carcasses, one thing to consider is what you're going to do with them. Uh, depending where you're fishing, the ideal thing is to put them in deep water. Um, take them out to the middle of the lake and, and, and sink them out there, not off the end of the boat launch where everyone else will see them, and not in a garbage can where they're going to attract bears and wildlife, okay? Now the last step is, is just to skin these pike, and for this, uh, it's, we don't want to use the grippy burlap sack because we want the opposite effect, we actually want them to slide. So I'm going to switch cutting boards here and use a, um, a smooth plastic surface. So there's five pieces here. If, these, if this was a really big pike, you might want to consider cutting this lengthwise to make it easier to skin. It'll be okay on, a, on one this size. And for skinning, all you do is cut down to your knife at the, just goes through the flesh and touches the skin, and then you're going to turn the blade away from you and you pull the skin back against the knife. You don't push the knife forward. My knife should stay almost still. Just like that. Okay. And once they're skinned, um, I just put them straight into a cold water bath to, with some salt water in it to keep, help take the, the blood out of the meat. Now this piece is the, sort of the back strap of the pike. This is the only one that might have a little bits of uh, the tips of the Y bones in here. You can cut them out if you like. Um, I find that it's just the very ends of the bones and you hardly even notice them in your meal. So I generally just leave them in. 
So that should come off just like that. And on these ones, you'll find them easier to skin if you remove this fin first. So I just use the tip of the knife and cut, cut that around that fin and just remove it. You can save those for, for bait if you do burbot fishing or uh, if you know a trapper or something that wants to use them for, for bait. They're excellent for that. Okay, and same thing on these side fillets. Get your knife started all the way across and then grab the skin and pull it against the blade. Just like that. And for portioning these out to, to eat, you might want to cut them again. In skinning these, sometimes you'll find you'll cut through by accident and you'll notice your, your separate, the, the skin is sticking to the, to the fish. If that happens, just switch it, start, turn it around and start over again from this side. Instead of trying to correct it from, from here and pick the skin off the meat, it's easier just to turn it around and start from the other end. And there we go, there's our completed pike, so that's the five-piece filleting method for northern pike. Good luck fishing, and uh, fish responsibly and fish ethically.